This video is um, dedicated to my mom who absolutely, as I pull stuff out of my storage unit, um, absolutely spoiled the heck out of me and uh, in many ways, uh, in many ways taught me um, how to love their kids and how to, both my parents really, my dad who worked, but I can't believe I'm parting with this stuff. This breaks my heart, but on the same token, this will be a final fun video to shoot just so I can kind of commemorate how much stuff I have and, uh, and, uh, and I know that no matter where it winds up, I'm just excited about it having a good home. So this is about a fraction, just so you know, of what the totals are. That's my storage unit with boxes and boxes of more stuff, but it's getting dark and it's freezing out here. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through what I have and uh, <laughs> and you can assume whatever you see I have lots more in that storage unit so first off I want you to know I got about a thousand uh, sets of Legos here maybe not quite that many but we got smart we do have a whole box this box is about two feet high by the way Mikey all right I spelled my name right um, those are all the Legos that are just free Legos and random logos uh, Legos we do have sets. We got smart at a certain age and we said, hey, what if we actually put them in bags with, uh, with the instructions on, on how to set these up? So I do have, in this case, pirate Legos, all the pirate Legos with all the big sets. You know how each set had one major Lego? Well, that was always the one I'd get for Christmas. Um, this is cool. This is that huge, really big pirate ship. I actually have the whole pirate ship sets in there. Then over here we have a lot of Space Legos Blacktron, which is funny because they would never nowadays in the world of political correctness call Legos Blacktron, but I have all the Blacktron Legos, which is pretty cool. Old school castle Legos. There's the, uh, there's that big, the nice big set for the, um, for the castle Legos. There's a shot of it right there. Old Space, New Space, Mtron, which had the magnets, just Legos galore. These guys are like hologram freaking figures that I don't know what the heck they're from. Um, but they were cool and I think I had all five of them or six of them. Who knows how many of them there were. Probably short lived. I'll probably sell them to somebody for like a buck and they'll probably be worth like $10 million one day. Um, <laughs> probably not. But here we have all my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures out of the boxes unfortunately. But would love to give these a good home. Um, I wonder if these guys fight. Yeah, the Ninja Turtles are gonna beat the hell out of these guys. There's Casey Jones, and I have all the little uh, bow staffs and stuff with these as well in a bag. Now I have plenty of, um, I have all these stuffed animals, and I wasn't a sloppy, like slobbery kid with like diseases that I got all over them. So if somebody wants to take these, normally you get discouraged from getting stuffed animals from strangers, but these were in immaculate condition. I don't think I even put these on my bed. They were more up on the shelf collectible. Same with all the South Park characters. Got a bunch more in there, but these are two that I pulled out. What's up, Chef? Too bad about Isaac Hayes. I was real sad. Um, I was into Garfield books, and I literally have, what number is this, his seventh book? I think I literally have one through 45. Um, they're not coming with me where I'm going. Uh, so would love to, would love to give him a good home. By the way, this is before the days of the show The Hoarder, but I think it's safe to say that in my collectability, I was quite the hoarder. This was the one thing my sister collected. She collected stickers. She's 40 now, and for some reason, I still have these. And some of these stickers are pretty cool, so if you're into old school stickers, you'll never be able to guess what her name was. Um, it was Charlotte, so <laughs> just kidding, Meg. Um, we have every Dr. Seuss book in the world. Dr. Seuss books, um, children's books. We have about a hundred of these too, and I don't even know what these are, but they're characterized by the little gold like binding, which is fun. Sesame Street books, I don't know, but I just, I loved the trucks. Used to call them the voodoos, um, which is funny. Little Black A Pony, I don't think I ever read this book. My dad probably didn't want me to have this. He's like, what the heck do you have that book for? But we did read Hop on Pop, that book is a classic taught us how to hop on pop. It's funny because I have a lot of these flashcards as well. You see the multiplication and the time ones. Um, uh, some of the, the kids that we went to school with went to Kumon Math and got like to be super geniuses and our family couldn't afford to send me to Kumon Math 
and the irony of it is now I know why. <laughs> but these flashcards are awesome. I did get perfect scores on all my math SATs, so you don't need Kumon math or a $10,000 SAT prep. Just buy these damn flashcards, which back in the day they were buck ninety-nine. So I'd love to give those a good home. I have 20 sets of them. All right. I did not pull out all my He-Men, but I want you to know I have every He-Man that you could possibly have, and every He-Man comes with a booklet. I have 50 booklets in my hand. You see uh, Battle Cat, Battle Cat, and all these. I literally, it's going to get dark soon, so I couldn't pull out all my He-Men, but I have more He-Men than you know what to do with. So if you're a He-Men collector, um, for the love of all things holy, you need to come down here and check out all my He-Men, because He-Man rocks. So does Starcom. Um, those are fun. I remember playing with those a lot. Those are great. I also, later on, as I matured in my taste, I got into X-Men. So I have all of the X-Men figures. Um, there's Cable. There's Gambit. Iceman. That one actually turns... Well, he used to turn. He used to turn blue when he was cold. I gotta imagine he'd be blue right now, because it's freezing out. Maybe, uh, maybe there's a chemical where that stops. Um, I have all the accessories for said X-Men, and I saved all the boxes, even though they're probably not worth anything out of the box. I saved all the boxes, all the cards are there, so I'll definitely give you all the boxes as well. Dominoes, rocks, for some reason I collected rocks for a little while. I just like to collect stuff, I guess. Coins, these are some crazy, I have bags of old coins. My dad traveled the world and got some amazing coins and bought some amazing coins from some amazing collectors. And they're all, uh, I don't know about any of them. They're probably worth like $10,000 or something and I'll probably sell it to someone for like 50 bucks, who knows. Same thing with the stamps. I never got into the stamps as much, but I do, uh, I do have many, 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 many stamps in here. It looks like many are licked. I think stamp collectors have techniques for getting stamps off. Uh, I don't know, stamps. What are these upside down? I have upside down airplanes. I don't know if those are worth anything. Um, baseball cards. I do know my baseball cards. So these are all labeled. You see Tops, Dunris, 92 Studio. So these are all very, uh, very cool. Dug this up. That's a 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Along with the uh, his autograph on a baseball. Um, collectible baseball coins. Bart Simpson. And oh my lord. Well, before I show you there, um, I have a bunch of these plastic dinosaurs. I have no idea why, but yep, if you like dinosaurs, your kids like dinosaurs, I got a bag of them, so pretty cool. <laughs> when my buddy moved me into the storage unit, he's like, all I remember was you had a big damn thing of bouncy balls. And every time we went to Kmart, my mom and me, we would go to, we would spend a quarter and we would get a bouncy ball. So this is how many times I've been to Kmart. Eventually, it looks like I got pretty good at selling and I was able to get the mega-sized bouncy balls. I think those are 50 cents. But uh, yeah, a budding sales career, even at the age of six, or as some of my friends would say, uh, my girlfriend at the age of 26, because apparently I still haven't grown up. Which, by the way, when she sees all this stuff, um, maybe I won't have to sell it anymore because she'll probably break up with me with how spoiled I am. <laughs> Check this out. Millions of Transformers. I couldn't even dig out all the boxes. Is that Megatron? I don't remember. I don't remember what the names are. Anytime you hear Megatron, I think Calvin Johnson. But the whole box of Decepticons. GoBots. It's funny because I tried to put these things together, these GoBots. These are popular as a, as a thing in the 80s. Whole box of all the GoBots. Um, I have Battle Beasts somewhere in there too. I have all the Battle Beasts, but I don't know where the heck they are. Uh, my gosh, is it cold out. But uh, I didn't remember how to put any of these damn GoBots and make them transform, but it was cool finding them. These are all my, um, what are the good ones? The bad ones are Decepticons. The good ones are Autobots. There's my, uh, a box of Autobots, all the different parts, some of the big people. I had all the big people too. There's Optimus Prime. Um, pile of comic books, so if you're into comic books, um, I have some very valuable ones. I'm not selling my really valuable ones, but I've got boxes of comic books that might be cool for you. And then this is kind of funny. Everybody always talks about how um, how there is no, uh, you know, you should have thrown away my baseball cards in the 60s, all my Mickey Mantles, I would have been a millionaire. So my young investor mind was like, I gotta find the next big thing. 
what's going to be really valuable that everyone's going to throw away, I'm going to collect them. So I started just saving all the TV guides <laughs> in classic hoarder style. I'm getting rid of all these, by the way. I will burn them or throw them away. I really don't care. I'd like to burn them right now because my hand is ready to fall off from cold. But I have about 150 TV guides. Um, I don't think my uh, investment ideas really paid off. Um, in fact, I don't, uh, I don't think so at all. But hey, I gave it a try. Why not? At least I was trying to get wise there. Oh my god, Hanson, I think that's a great way to end this video with that. So, tons of stuff. If you want to come down, check it out. I'd love a super collector to take a lot of this stuff off my hands and give it a good home. Because that's really what I care most about. Um, and I just want to say one more time, thank you mom and dad for spoiling the hell out of me. Um, my whole childhood here is both sad and just awesome to see, uh, to see this and to know that I'm going to be able to do the same thing with kids one day. So thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon.